links, huh? Yes, sir. Um, Matt decided to give Justin a bad idea, so naturally it just turned into a competition and now we're gonna race the new sleds and uh, the mud, basically. So um, I'm gonna spend the rest of my day in the wash bay cleaning this thing and um, at least you guys will get to enjoy it. Yeah, but we got, you know, we got a, like two inches of snow, maybe an inch and a half. Yeah, and underneath so, that is four inches of water. So it should be good. Be pretty cool. Should be good enough. Justin's got the chaos over here. Yeah, so I was like, man, this thing would really shoot a rooster tail out there in the mud right now. We should go. I wish you guys could see it. And, and then you were like, Matt, Matt goes, I can't believe you guys hadn't got him out yet. <laughs> yeah. If I, All right. If I had a like modern sled, I would have had it out there for sure. I had, a, I had three other ones out yesterday and today, so I guess it's only fitting that we get this one out there. Oh. <laughs> Crazy. Dude, those have <laughs> what a wild sounding machine. Yeah, Holy no, crap. I've never heard one sound like that. I haven't either. That's wild. It's been a while since I've heard newer ones. <laughs> Holy crap. Here's Justin on the chaos. <laughs> All right, Joe, I got it that time. <laughs> That's a BRP power, baby. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. That was a nice one. There was some finesse in there, too. That was yeah. solid. That was solid. Boy's got the wheelies. Uh huh. That thing is awesome. got snow finally got snow so cheap sled challenge it's back it's time to fire this sucker up unfortunately it's been so long since these things have been out with this lack of winter uh, really don't know if they work yeah and uh, I think some work has happened on some of these I've sort of lost track I haven't done anything of mine it's fine but I think there's been some tweaking some tuning and uh, it's about time to get serious about this competition next video is gonna be competition video for sure. Maybe this video? I don't know. We'll see. We're working on schedules, but it's happening. So I just want to rip today. We've got like real snow finally. So that's all my mind is on. I'm just riding snow on wheels. I don't care what else. I just run around. That's what's going on in my head the whole over. Is that Thundercat sounds? No, it's a lot of not Thundercat sounds lately, but we're going to find out today. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's do an update. Let's let's do an update. Yes. Yeah, let me tell you what happened with this thing. What happened with I this thing? I did take it out one time, and guess what? Rode like uh, like garbage, like trash. <laughs> Weird. Uh, I didn't know what was going on. It was dropping RPM, so I says, uh, Mike. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, bud, <laughs> what do you think's going on here? Uh, it turned out to be just a freaking uh, a fuel filter, so not that big of a deal. And then Mike also noticed that when you ride it, just an uh, incredible amount of steam just billows out of the machine. Turns out my uh, front skid plate was just made out of a trash can, so just, it was gone. Just gone. <laughs> Little gone. belly pan delete, no big deal. It was full deleted. Uh, and then, also, the first time we took it out, you may remember when we had that giant storm from before, my brakes, my brakes kept locking up, so I had to change my pads, which I'm pretty unhappy about, but also happy because I like living, so. That was five bucks. I tried to pawn that onto Justin's tab, but Justin has blown his tab, so. I heard that fuel filter was like 80. Like, oh no, I don't know. I, I, I didn't agree to the fuel filter. That was without my consent. <laughs> Loopholes, my man. Loopholes. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. I just want to take it out. I really just want to. I just want to see what it's like. You yeah. may see some snow on here. That's. It's it was just an effect. It was outside. <laughs> it, was out, it was outside. <laughs> uh, all right, TCAP, ready to go. Prize sled, also ready to go. Obviously, doesn't need a lot of work. We did stud this sucker up, though. She's got fresh carbides. It's got ski savers. It's got 144 fresh studs in the track, courtesy of Woody's Traction. So she's ready to rip. Uh, we'll be doing some cool stuff with those guys in the future. So looking forward to that. What's next here? Mike's sled? Look at that beauty. Is that Mike's or is that Matt? I honestly didn't have to do a lot since the last time I rode it. I ended up just putting plugs in it. Uh, I ended up putting a new primary spring in it because I saw that one was kind of weak and had some issues with it. And then uh, I changed one bottom gear, not only budget cost, just an exchange straight up on parts. So I went bigger one tooth on the bottom and that's it. Besides that, it's been running absolutely excellent. So This old girl, the one that's going to take home the championship. Uh, yeah, I've been having a little troubles with the way it runs, <laughs> but uh, I've only spent, I think, yeah, eight bucks for new spark plugs, and I'm going to go out and test it today. Hopefully it runs right. We'll see. This thing, haven't touched it. Honestly, I think it's okay. It does cut out occasionally. Steve wrote it, uh, I don't know, a week ago, a week and a half ago, but I'm not worried about it. We're just going to take it out and rip it. She's fine. O3, F7, dude. Can't beat it. Good to go. What do we got going on over here? <laughs> Had a lot of highs and lows with this thing. So when I first brought it back, it didn't run. It barely ran. That ended up being a super easy problem. I don't think we talked about this yet. Uh, the temp sensor on the head, the guy broke the plug off when he rebuilt it. So I just spliced that back together, and that was it. She was perfect after that. Uh, then we took it out and rode it. I know that was on video uh, when it exploded a belt. Turns out it just had the wrong clutch on it. So the clutch was just flopping around on the crankshaft. It wasn't great, but took that to Mickey's. Uh, they swapped out the back sheave and stem for it. Cleaned the clutch up, like got looking perfect. Uh, got a used belt on it. I don't have a spare belt, not great. And then when I got it, the guy told me the voltage regulator was getting weak. Like sometimes the headlights were iffy. Uh, since then it's just died completely. So I have no power, no headlights, no gauges, no brake light. And it's causing a bog because I think it's not working my exhaust valves. Uh, so typically the voltage regulator would not be a big deal on this particular slide it's a huge deal because i think a hundred percent of them went out so there are just no used ones available uh like mickey's literally searched an hour for me and couldn't find one i ended up having to buy a new one off of amazon it's not great completely <laughs> destroyed my budget like i'm starting down points now for sure Ooh. but that's supposed to come in tomorrow after that, I think it'll run good, though. Man, look at look at the tribal on that sucker! Holy moly, man! So, you don't talk about the prize main sled here. <laughs> Tell us about the full rebuild you did on this sucker. Yeah. Well, the handlebars—they wouldn't stay where they're supposed to. So, I went with a little different setup, and I actually built this myself. If you want to focus on those welds, <laughs> see, it's uh, impressive. It's not touching both sides. I mean, it, it's really <laughs> snaky. Oh yeah, you were but laying dimes there, it's bud. Just, yeah. Perfect amount of heat, dead straight. It survived the ditch bag. Yes, it did. So anyway, so we got the handlebars. Those were like 25 bucks. Gave me Where'd those come off of the diamond back? Yeah, something. And, uh, <laughs> and then we got a, we got a bike. 
it's off an old four. It doesn't fit right. Not to worry about it. It is a sweet works. I like it. Uh, what else did we do? Okay, so back here in the traction department. <laughs> yep. Our friends at Woody's came out with these triggers. Yeah, those are triggers. Uh, about two inches long. 1.875. Now, it was, wasn't in my budget to buy new ones. So I found a used track and I stole all the studs out of the used track and put them in mine. <laughs> What he's trying to say is he got about $800 worth of studs for like a hundred bucks. Yeah, and I got them less if you weren't there talking to the guy tell him how sweet studs they were. <laughs> well, they're good Thank studs. You. They're good studs. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna use this track to line the, the ramp on my trailer so my sled don't spin when I go in there. He's like, yeah, those are nice studs. And Joey's like, yeah, they're triggers. They're $800. Oh. <laughs> Whatever, man. Whatever. Good for I mean, you, Joseph. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, thank you. No problem, guys. Show me those receipts. <laughs> Show me those receipts. I will. Every time we get to Joey, we're arguing about <laughs> something. Yeah, lots of controversy surrounding this sled. Um, I'll take you around back. Yeah, just show stuff. us what I would, uh, show us the goods. As you guys remember, this actually didn't have a track on it. Yeah, I had and, that freaking um, Mike know. Reed was kind enough, being that I can't really do any heavy lifting, can't change a track by myself right now. Mike Reed just did it for me. Great guy. Mike Reed's a good dude. Um, this track, as you guys saw in the video when I picked it up, it's in pretty rough shape. Uh -huh. However, we got a lot of lug height, so I'm hoping it'll do something. That's, yeah. that's basically the best I could do. Also, um, before, even with this thing jacked up all the way in the air, you could barely turn it with one hand because I had a, a lower ball joint over there that was just completely seized. Justin replaced that for me. <laughs> yeah, and you're still talking trash. I am <laughs> not. I am not. No, that's fine. Anyways, Justin replaced that for me, and now she's like butter, so I can actually steer the thing now. And I haven't ridden it yet, so we're gonna find out shortly here if this thing actually works, or if I'm just gonna blow the track off and die. Does it still have that weird uh, uh, starting mechanism? Uh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, oh, oh, maybe not. First try. Oh, boy, I don't know if I start that oh. here. Oh, come on. It might have fixed itself. Come on, baby. Oh. Whoa! Also, <laughs> also uh, forgot to mention when I got the sled, it came with a different uh, silencer, and uh, we got that swapped over, so now it's loud. So Okay. Cool. All right, let's go outside. Yeah. Matt just hits me with, man, my, my sled is running awesome. This thing is running awesome now. Made a little clutch adjustment, replace the spark plug. I think we're good. Good, I'm glad to hear that, because before you were a little down. But no was. big deal, dude, no big deal. Man, I think it's gonna be good. I need to kind of save it, I think. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Matt's hanging in the background. I'm just making laughs, and I'm like, man, where's Matthew? And he's like, oh, saving the juice. I know, they always run the best before they blow. They always run the best before they blow. So. Yeah, that is a good point. Yeah, preserve it. Yeah. We'll <laughs> talk him and interrupt it, Mark. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> right, look how pretty the track yeah, looks out here right awesome. now. it is awesome. Like, oh it is awesome. I did feel bad. Like, I went on one inside turn, and I'm like, ah, maybe I shouldn't touch it. It's just like... It's pristine. It's nice. yeah. Yeah. No, it is super nice. How did yours go? It sounds super good. I'll, I'll be honest, it sounds yeah, great. It, it runs good. It does cut out randomly, probably like a throttle switch thing. Yeah. Like, I'll be honest with you, I I hate this sled. Do you? <laughs> I hate <laughs> it. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't, okay. I, I'm sure people love them. I don't want to make people bad to each their own. For me personally, this thing sucks. It's just not not your style. <laughs> not your style at all. But it's running good. It's yeah, light. That's good. I think it's pretty quick, so you know, we should do okay on it. As long as she runs and you can ride it, dude, that's all that matters. Best of luck to you, dude. Thanks, I'm gonna man. win that Polaris. Good Appreciate for you guys. You. <laughs> <laughs> What's Justin lining up for? <laughs> just always giving it that guy. He's just ready to give it at any point.
Well, it moves at least. It does move. That's, That's a good start. That's a good start. Fingers crossed that freaking track explodes. Dude. Just the whole thing explodes. <laughs> I hope he'll be okay, but... <laughs> but other than that, screw that machine. That track has got to go, dude. I'm just kidding, Joseph. <laughs> Just, Joseph's in the background sounding pretty nice, he's, honestly. He's doing something. I'm jealous of how all of these sound right now. Yeah, sure. mine is running fast. Is she just, it's just right off the bed, just boggy? Multiple times it's almost stalled. Really? Right that yeah. kind of stinks. My man! She runs, huh? My snowmobile is a pile of poop. Why do you say that? You got a new ball joint. Can you hear it laying over on the big end? I mean, you know, lay here, lay there, dude. She's That's running. What it sounds like. Well, you got some sorting out to do before now and tomorrow. I think I'm just gonna go get the real sled. No, you can't yet. Just let her work out. She's been sitting for 12 years. Yeah. Literally. I'm hoping it's the track that's hitting the tunnel protectors and just needs to wear in. Uh, okay, well, I think you should just go get your base. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Good I'm, gonna, I'm gonna run a lap around the track first. See, see how On she this? turns. See how she turns. Good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> Switch was off for like the last 20 seconds. <laughs> she took, she dude, she's got an old processor in her. Yeah, it's uh, she's got old, she's got an A1 processor. Time. It's gotta warm up, you, <laughs> you know? know. It's cold out here. Those two brothers just having fun. Oh, nice. Man, Matt just sent it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bubba, take her easy, dude. Bump it, slow her down. Matt, my man, dude, take her easy. Oh, we're good, we're fine. My problem is, I don't know how to ride a snowmobile. Yeah, I know that feeling. Dude, I, I feel like you found your way on that sled, dude. Yeah, get him a little more confident. I think the bars are too high. They're too high. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my, I don't know, my hands. My hand's not working. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really just not that fast on a snowmobile. It's a like, hard, hard sport, dude. Yeah, tough reality. <laughs> I heard the lightning. You know what comes next? Oh boy. Thunder. <laughs> the thunder. <laughs> oh yeah. Smooth. Smooth. She just sounds really good. Best sounding sled in the competition. Couldn't even keep up with them. <laughs> it sounds like it's working good. It yeah. It looked like it was moving pretty good there. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. ASAP. Yeah, the steam and the smoke is still just coming. I can't tell if it's steam or something's burning. It smells like something's burning. 
I'm just gonna ride it. I, yeah, I mean, I mean, she's got to live like she's got four the, more times. She's got the power though. It looks yeah. like. Yeah, I mean, she pulls. It's pretty, it's pretty uh. Pretty impressive. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you what. I think I'm gonna go snag that Polaris. Okay. All right, I brought the real sled out, letting Matt see what that's like. Yeah, how many skidoos can we break in a day? Hey, my other one's not broken. It just sucks. That's a ripper. That's a real snowmobile right there. Is that Matthew? Yes, sir. Screw these two strokes. This thing is awesome. That's what I'm saying. Four Holy strokes, baby. Holy crap. This is like an experience. It's an experience like no other. That's wow. what I've been saying, and nobody's listening to me. And like, it, it's so crazy how the power comes on, too. Because you can give it 90% throttle, but then it feels like there's another 90% of throttle left. Yeah. And like, just with that little bit extra to the bar. And that's when it picks the skis up and goes. Holy moly. Oh, I'll, sh I'll show you what it looks like when it picks the skis up and goes. Yeah, I don't want to go too far. <laughs> wow. Nick? <laughs> yeah, can I try that? Yeah, go for it, dude. Thanks, bud. No <laughs> worries, man. Go have some fun, Nick Seuss. Thanks, bud. The first time I actually hit the gas, I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. Hey, be careful. <laughs> tapes it to the bars. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It picks up so much speed, so fast. I've ever ridden. <laughs> I was gonna say, what do you think about this fine BRP product, Nick Dude, right off the bat, the sound is freaking bonkers. It's yeah. so much fun. Like, it sounds like nothing I'd ever heard before. Like, it's like that sort of sounds like an X3, but it also sounds like a super mean dog, dude. <laughs> Jeez. I don't, I don't like riding wheelies. I don't like feeling like out of control, as, as, as weird as that sounds. I just wanted to stand this sucker up. I'm like, where's my limits? Where's my limits? That thing is sweet, dude. I'll, I'll go do that for you. Woo! Justin says he's going to do a wheelie. Oh, yeah. Old Nitro Mike. Old Nitros, man. Like yeah. Well, it's got a muffler on it, oh, but the tune—it's a stock tune. Wow. Isn't that wild? <laughs> That's such a long machine That's to be standing up like that. Real. It's crazy. Oh my gosh! I never thought I'd see this thing out. It's... Oh, listen to that thing! Yeah, it's a VMAX oh. 4. <laughs> That's a wild sound, too. Oh. Holy moly. Oh, look at this guy. 
<laughs> I know. It sounds like it's a 10 cylinder. What a crazy machine, dude. Uh, dude, I love it. <laughs> dude, I love it. It's just like I remember. That has got to be the <laughs> craziest sounding sled I've ever heard. Dude. Oh, they're yeah, they're wild sounding. Especially with quad pipes. I still haven't found the right deal on a set of quad pipes. Once you get those, they're really crazy sounding, but it's just a joy to ride. Suspension's horrible, you know? <laughs> it's a 96 Yamaha. What do you expect? Typical. It looks like you were a, like when you're driving it, it looked, or riding it, it looks like you're a part of the sled. Like yeah. Like you're uh, in the sled. Like you're very, you know, crunched up. Yeah. You're sort of like this. Maybe That's the bars could get rolled forward a little bit, but I love it. It runs great. Does it? You guys almost should just take it for a little rip. Like it's, she rips, It's huh? such a weird, it doesn't hook up out here. Yeah, it's got, sure. you know, the old yeah. stock track. But yeah. once you get rolling, you're like, like all right. Start booking. I'm doing something. Yeah. That's it's cool. freaking tight though. Man. It's fun. You look good on it, dude. Thanks, man. You look like you're at home, but. <laughs> we got a drag race. Apex versus Chaos versus Nitro. Look at that Nitro. Steve's Apexes, flying. Them, dude. All right, I gotta go get mine now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was a good attempt, though. Let's gonna try and find some fresh snow. Joey's gonna try third time, and if he edits that, it, this is definitely his first attempt. <laughs> the snow needs to be just a little deeper. Yeah, it's not very deep. Especially, mine's a lot skinnier than his, and it lays over a lot better. Uh huh. His being wider, you need that extra snow to drop the front ski down farther. Yeah, because we've only got, that's only like eight inches of snow, right? And maybe. Yeah, I do that a lot too. <laughs> Yeah, what happened out there? There's two components to this. Number one, there's not enough snow. Number two, I'm not a good rider. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, Steve. Dude, that just, thing is awesome. Just freestyling out here. <laughs> Yeah, Steve. <laughs> that one popped a little harder than I expected. <laughs> that was sick. Justin, ride my snowmobile. You had to do that, didn't you? Yeah. I want to see how someone who's actually good at snowmobiling can ride well, it. I wouldn't go that far, but I can fall off it just same as you, so that's All what right. it looks like. Finally happened. <laughs> She's a big girl.
I told him to hold it wide open. I didn't mean for two miles straight. <laughs> She's done. What do you mean she's done? done? Oh, she's done. It's not done. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. There's I nothing wrong with it. A little bit too long of a pull. Pull the pull it over real quick. I bet it's still fine. Matt! Oh. No! I know they always run the best before they blow. So. Yeah, that is a good point. Gotta preserve it. Oh. No! She seized right up. No! Matthew! <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, man, so uh, yeah, that's not good. That's uh, that's an accurate statement. She it it locked up at about forty I miles an hour. Dude. I got her. She's back. Oh, oh, really? Oh, you're good. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> you think it'll run? <laughs> yes, might as well see. Ooh. Oh, it's tight. It's tight. Hold on. Oh. oh no! Hold on, don't let her go. Actually, it's free now. Maybe she just cold seized, you know? <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. Then the belt stuck to the clutch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Out of coldness. Maybe it was just a, a clutch problem. It just froze up, probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's cold out here. Your uh, anti detonation device didn't work this time. Plug stayed in. Oh, I do. Alright, she's gonna go. Come on, baby. Ooh. Ah, ah, ah. I mean, it's. I think the bearings went. Maybe it's funny to try to start it, but probably actually not good. <laughs> maybe if we take our two sleds and put them together, we can make a running vehicle. Yeah. And then you guys can share the new Polaris. But you guys have to ride two up for the rest of the challenge. <laughs> I really predicted the future at the start of this. Yeah, that's not good. I was like, man, it's running so good. I just want to see what a long pole it feels like. And it felt awesome. Felt it's like I real, was really it, happy for you. You got that feeling. It felt like I was floating on a cloud. Dang, Dang it. it. <laughs> hey, real sorry, bud. It's okay. I half expected it. So All right. Secretly, he's just happy he gets to ride the new sled when we go trail riding. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's awesome, by the way. <laughs> I know. It's yeah, very I know. Nice. It's very good. <laughs> Mike, you're gonna have to carry the 800 XC torch. Uh oh. She locked up. No. <laughs> oh, Matthew. Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. Now we'll take her apart, see what it looks like. What were you doing? Holding it wide open for <laughs> about time. two minutes. <laughs> Maybe. Well, that stinks. Sorry. It's a cheap sled. Cheap sled life. It's, got, it's just got one line that, that tees right up the car. Yeah. You know. What did we find out? So we're gonna pull the plugs. I've been told that that's step one. Oh, interesting. I don't know why he's looking at me like that. <laughs> now this cylinder historically has been leaner than the other cylinder. And I went through the carbs. They are clean, they're set up exactly the same, so they should be getting the same amount of fuel. Oh man. Oof. That I'm one's pretty lean. Let me get a hard zoom on there. And if you can hard zoom, there's silver metallic material oh. on that plug. That's not good. That's what we call a tough break. It's not good. Let's see what this one looks like. This one has been wet in the past. Oh, not so wet, but not blown up either. We really need to get that head off there. Yeah. Anticipation. This well, isn't Matt's problem, but it's another problem. What do you got in your hand there? You know, when it's really cold out and the sled's hip, they pull a little harder, and if you just pull even harder back, sometimes you break things. Well, let's take this one off first, because it's probably not blown. Okay, that piston right. looks really good. That one's fine. Now this one. Oof. Oof. 
She uh, melted. Yeah. Mm. He's offside. She gone. She's gone. <laughs> that is interesting. Why don't you roll it over just a little bit no, to get it to the top? I wonder if it caught the. I mean, the cylinder's not real happy there. Yeah, that's bad. Can you bring her up? That's bad. Go ahead. Oh, you're, Ooh. you're missing a mm -hmm. little material over yeah, here. Yeah, she. What do you think? What do you think caused that? <laughs> just a little too lean. A little too mean. I mean. Could be a crank seal, could be a base gasket, could be all sorts of different things. Yeah, I mean, the timing might not be stock on this thing. It probably isn't, mm -hmm. given yeah. the rest of the setup. So, yeah. you know, it's probably going to need some higher octanes. Well, we're at least going to get a top end. Another trip to Mickey's. Mm -hmm. Excuses don't win races. When I took off, it would go, and then I was reeling you in by the end. Yeah, look at the f***ing size of me. It's like pulling a boulder behind a sled. was running horribly. Yeah. And it's still... I have this boned out O2 chunk ass twin cylinder, whatever the f***ing you want to call it. have been raced its whole life. It's real out. And it was detonated. I had no spark plugs in it, and I still almost beat you. I like the word used that almost beat me. Yeah, with no spark plugs. You have a race sled with no spark plugs in it. Yeah. Fun stuff. All right, so unfortunately earlier in the video, I said the next video is definitely gonna be snowmobile challenge stuff. I have to retract that statement because poor Matt. <laughs> I'm real sorry about that. Sorry to disappoint you guys. The sled is down, but it is not out. I have all the parts for Mickey's. She's gonna get rebuilt. We're still in it. Yeah, and we want everybody to stay in the competition. So, you know, in the spirit of good sportsmanship, we're gonna give Matt some time, get that sled back together, and then we'll get to the challenge stuff. But. One more quick update before we go today. We are, uh, we're upgrading the shop here. We got some fun new stuff that Steve's been working on. Yeah, not totally ready to show this thing off yet, building the table for it, but I couldn't wait to unbox it anymore. This is an arc droid CNC robot for plasma cutting. Yes. No way. We literally just upload 2D sketch files for it and just cut out whatever you want. So like, I've kind of been on a kick of upgrading the shop lately. Getting her ready that. for big That things, sucker's you know? tight. Yeah, so this is just gonna allow us to fabricate just better stuff, you know? Instead of taking a ton of time to sketch out something on a piece of flat steel, cut it out, do a bunch of grinding, we can just do nice, quick, beautiful looking brackets, whatever, with this sucker. It's gonna be super useful and uh, come in real handy for some of the larger projects we have going on over here but <sighs> cool 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 well all right lots more to come lots of things going on uh appreciate you guys as always thank you for sticking with us thank you for supporting us and doing everything that you've always done to keep us here so if you're subscribing watching these videos donating on patreon buying that merchandise buying those parts buying through that rocky mountain link just thank you guys so much we'll be back next week making some stuff hopefully with a fixed sled ready to do some more ripping it'll be fixed <laughs> it'll rip see you guys how many fingers you gotta cross for matt at this point <laughs>